Hello world, my name is Rio Sara. I am a body painter. You can catch me here and everywhere all around the world at www.riosara.com. I initially started doing art when I was four years old. I started drawing when I was four years old and then um, in 2009 I took up painting on canvas, shirts, and people all at the same time. And around about that same time is when I decided that I wanted to take this and turn it into a career. I was painting on clothes and selling the clothes and then I just started transitioning over painting people and it became a successful uh, situation. Since I've been body painting and since I've been doing art period, I've had, you know, a lot of funny situations, but I'll share it with you two of them. All right, so one, um, I body painted for a club I'm not gonna say, and for a person I'm not gonna say, but uh, <laughs> I body painted um, seven girls, and um, I was supposed to be paid a sum of $900, and I was only paid four, and I had to chase the guy for about four or five months to get the rest of my money, and he changed his phone number, he did a lot of stuff. I had to get in contact with a lot of people just to get to him, but um, yeah, it ultimately ended up with me showing up at his place to get my money. All right, the other one, uh, <laughs> the other one's when I very first started body painting. This is like my fourth person that I ever body painted. And um, I was painting her all nude, and to make a long story short, I was painting her with the paintbrush down below, and it felt good to her, and she decided to have an orgasm, and <laughs> and I just let her go through with it. First starting off with body painting, I do regret to say that I did use acrylic paint at first, on my very first model. I didn't know anything about body painting. I didn't even know that there was actually product for it. I just wanted to do it. And um, I learned fast, I learned quickly, and um, after that first model, I started working with uh, Faber Paint, started working with Moran, I started working with um, Pro Air, um, I started working with Wolf FX, which is great paint. And um, from that point on, man, I just really wanted to understand the real craft of it and do a real good job at it and make sure that at the end of the day, it didn't crack, break, and just look horrible after having spent so many hours painting on it. First and foremost, I want to tell you all to have contracts and get paid up front. That's how you cut out all the riffraff. So, and that's how you know who's serious. Like, it's a lot of people that want to do a lot of events. They want to do it, you know, but they have not gone through the proper channels of business in order to get those things done. And that's how you end up making sure that um, you can succeed as an artist and as a business person just by um, handling your thing up front. A lot of times I would just trust that people would pay me like they said that they would once I got there. But what I started doing was first, I'd have them pay me in advance, and then when I got there, I wouldn't even take the top off my bottle of paint until they gave me the rest. Because they've already seen your work and they've seen your resume. So, that's another key I wanna to give to you. Build your resume. Paint everywhere and paint everything at all times. Do not be too proud or too bourgeois to go be a part of events, even events that you haven't even been invited to, because I did a lot of those. <laughs> when I was younger, I was living in um, Mississippi, a very, very, very small town, that small. And um, I have all these ideas that I have now, I had that and then some, and there's no real media or medium to put your work into in such a small city. It was aggravated, it was frustrating. It was depressing from time to time. I drew a lot, I wrote songs, I made a lot of beats for music. Um, I did a lot of video, a lot of different things there, but it just wasn't moving. And um, I knew that I had to move out of that area in order to get a, a greater plateau of people to see what I was doing. And I took a very big risk. Sometimes you gotta take a risk. Like um, I moved to Atlanta, straight out of Mississippi, um, after having no real luck in Chicago. Um, and I moved to Atlanta with no job and very little money. And I found a place to live and a job within three months. 
and um, I just had to take the risk. I moved down here with my brother, and we said we were gonna come out here, we were gonna show Atlanta what we had because we had too much work in Mississippi and it, it just wasn't making any moves. So I, what I say to you is this, if you aren't where you need to be to be seen, get where you need to be to be seen. And sometimes you have to take that risk, but you will be taken care of. The universe wants you to win. All you have to do is just say yes and the universe will do the rest. Some of the perks of really being able to um, now benefit from what I've been doing as an artist is one, I travel a lot with my artwork. Um, I am in galleries, I am on TV shows. <laughs> um, I've been doing a lot of festivals, I've been doing a lot of body painting competition shows. And um, it's allowing me to work solely from my art, build from my art, and um, make my money from something that I like doing. You know, um, we want to all transition from work to career. That's what we want to do. And the way to do that is to continue to stay on your work, to continue to be persistent with your work, and just don't give up. Like, I know that it's difficult. I know that it's challenging. But just paint every day. Draw every day. Even if you can't do it every day, commit yourself to doing something every week or every two or three days. But when you do it, put it out. Put it out on a platform of social media. Stand out on the corner of an exit and paint. Cars come through all the time. Just do anything and everything you have to do to be seen and you will get your reward. You will get what you're looking for. Rio Sarai is the name. You can check out the links below, the Instagram, the Facebook, Twitter, all of those different types of things. And www.riosarai.com. You can check out my work there. You can check out merchandise to buy. You can check out Music 5000, a film that I'm working on. artist. It's the story of an artist <laughs> who brings his paintings to life with a paintbrush and they come to life and dance to the themes of whatever I decide to paint. So that's going to be a very fantastic theatrical situation. I can't wait to show everybody. I can't wait for you to be a part of it. And um, that's pretty much it. So stay inspired people. Stay inspired Atlanta. I'd like to say thank you to all the people of Atlanta. You know who you are. There's too many to name, but you're all a star. Um, that's it. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe. Don't be a lane, use your brain.